Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Andy from World Class Chiropractic here in Burlington, North Carolina. Today I am joined and very honored to have Scott Barbie here with us today. He is the owner of CrossFit 584. Um, thank you much for being here. Yeah, man. Yeah, no problem. I, I'm, I love this guy. He is one of two people responsible for the fact that I lost 46 pounds this year. So um, I obviously <laughs> owe a lot to him. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so tell us a little bit about how you got into CrossFit. Um, so I started my journey. Um, I was in college, um, you know, lived the college lifestyle, smoked daily, um, drank frequently, um, and uh, just didn't take much care of myself. Um, graduating, I decided I did not want to be uh, a smoker because I wanted to teach um, and coach soccer. Well, uh, one of the things that, that kind of helped me stop smoking was uh, I did a CrossFit workout and it kicked my butt to the point where I was like, wait a minute. This is, It'll this, do that. <laughs> this is not good for me, so um, I, I quit smoking, and okay. um, that helped me get uh, started uh, on my journey into CrossFit, and um, you know, through CrossFit, I've been introduced to many different lifestyle options, um, you know, diet, nutrition, exercise, recovery, and all that, yeah. so um, you know, it's been an incredible journey, um, you know, like, like the song goes, started from the bottom, now I'm here, um, and it's just been a long process, but um, over the course of about 10 years, um, it's been a great one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was introduced to CrossFit last year. Um, you learn quickly uh, that you you can be a whole lot healthier than you currently yeah. are. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You, you oh, learn yeah. fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It puts you in, it puts, gives you a perspective. Uh, and yes, it, it is relative, though. It is relative. Yes. You know, fitness is relative. Uh, you know, what is fitness to an endurance athlete? What is fitness to a power lifter, uh, somebody that just lifts heavy weight? Um, so, you know, it really is relative to your own goals and where you're at in life. But, um, you know, it is it is definitely a really fun journey to begin with. And I think CrossFit's a great door for that to, to open it. Yeah, I mean, coming from, coming from like you are saying, the recovery world and coming from chiropractic, I'm obsessed with movement and how to move well. Um, it really lines up with, with the philosophy of healthcare, with the philosophy of CrossFit. It's all about functional movement. And, you know, yeah, you might be at the gym squatting, you know, but it, it's not squatting just to see how much you can lift. It's to squat so that when you leave the gym you can get up and down out of your chair yeah, well, yeah, right? right. So, I mean yeah, it's really absolutely. functional. Mm -hmm. um, so what brought you to opening up CrossFit 584? Um, I was lucky enough to get involved with CrossFit fairly early before it really boomed um, around 11, 12, close to 11, 12 years ago um, and I helped start CrossFit okay. Training Valley, um, one of the first gyms between Greensboro and Raleigh. Uh, we were located in Gibsonville and uh, we started out with uh, me and a couple of police officers and the gym owner. Uh, we were just in there you know, enjoying CrossFit, just goofing off um, and then we got this harebrained idea like cool man let's uh, maybe make this a program and um, we affiliated with CrossFit <clears throat> um, kind of snowballed from there um, separated from CrossFit Training Valley and um, started my own facility uh, CrossFit 584 uh, on Church Street and uh, it's really been an, uh, um, uh, you know literally a day at a time just growth and development and all that and yeah, yeah. Um, you know 584 has become um, really a, a very inclusive broad and general um, uh, um, business or, or uh, um, a facility for health and wellness yeah. um, because it's not just a CrossFit gym. We're lucky enough to interact with people like you, um, with uh, um, other individuals, uh, athletic trainers, Mary yeah. Kopaki, um, you know, health and wellness specialists like Mitch Webb, um, and uh, you know, just a lot of really cool individuals um, who who. Have a goal you guys go so just, much farther beyond wings. picking up heavy yeah. things and putting them back. Yeah, down. absolutely, absolutely. You know, functional fitness is it is what it is. Obviously, we want you to be functional and fit in movement, but we also just want general health and wellness. Mm -hmm. um, functional fitness is just one very small facet to that. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's definitely um, just a small piece. Five eight four is just a small piece. Um, don't let that CrossFit. Uh, 584 keep you from looking into what we do because you know we connect you with really uh, light really really cool like-minded individuals like Dr. Andy. You, you hit it right on so some people kind of have th there are stereotypes out there about CrossFit you know it's too intense or you can oh, yeah. hurt yourself <laughs> so the average Joe I mean I was an average Joe when I I'm an you know, average Joe yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> when when I started CrossFit and it wasn't yeah it was absolutely it was hard at the beginning but oh, yeah. um, as, as it should be and I think definitely when I kind of came to terms with with don't try and compete with the other people in there because they've been doing it for <clears> you know six years longer than I have 
And so when I when I do that, when I just focus on myself, I feel great, yeah, and I feel yeah. like, hey, I can go back to the gym and I can work out again tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so touch on some of the, those stereotypes. Why are they either not true or not true by yeah, your gym? Yeah. Unfortunately, um, CrossFit has gained or, or it's it started to get the stereotype of extreme. Um, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Keep in mind that CrossFit started as a functional movement program, as a as a, uh, a fitness regimen um, by an individual who all he wanted to do was change lives of people who were uh, unhealthy, couldn't move well, uh, uncomfortable, um, and inactive. Um, it again is just a small facet to health and wellness. Um, the stereotype of extreme has been blown up, uh, um, has, has really grown from the uh, what people see on TV with the CrossFit yeah. Games. Um, that is a 1% the elite of the elite. Yeah. 1% of the population. Um, and even with my many years of experience and, and some of my abilities with moving weight and some of the gymnastic abilities with like walking on my hands and all that stuff, I'm still very much an average Joe. Um, I started with barely being able to move a barbell in some of the movements we do and um, being very uncomfortable upside down, right, on my hands and stuff like that. Um, and it's developed over time. So the, the thing is, is everyone has a starting point. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter your background. You have a starting point. And uh, as I said earlier, fitness is, uh, is, is a relative term. Um, we have a workout that is uh, run 400 meters, um, you know, do 21 deadlifts and 21 burpees. Well, Andy comes in and um, we realize he may not have the, the capability to run, uh, do that multiple rounds and run that far, so we cut his 400 meter run to 200 meters, cut that in half, um, where it's prescribed to deadlift uh, 225 pounds. We realize Andy needs some work on his deadlift and to build strength and do this safely. So he starts at more like 95 or 135, uh, depending on his abilities and his strength. Um, and then the 21 burpees, we can cut those 21 reps down to 12. We can modify how far he goes to the floor. Uh, you know, there's a lot of modification. The beauty of what we do is everything is modifiable by its weight, its distance, its time. So don't be intimidated by the extremes of what you see on TV. Uh, we have everything from 12, 14 year old youth athletes doing what we do uh, to uh, 60, 70, 80 year old individuals doing what we do. Yeah, they're um, in my lunch, you know, my lunch class. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, and I mean, it, it really is. Um, it really is uh, unfortunate that CrossFit has gained the notoriety uh, of being such a, an extreme facet uh, or such an extreme fitness regimen. But um, you know that's one of the big ones. Is is you know, I could never do CrossFit. That stuff is crazy, man. You guys do crazy stuff. Well, we also do functional stuff. Um, you know, we to me it's we not really, that crazy, <laughs> right? Now, <laughs> once you get in there and you actually <clears throat> experience it, mm -hmm, it's not crazy at all. I mean, like one of the things that. I wouldn't, you know, want to partner or be associated associated with anything that I thought could hurt people or wasn't good. You know, first and foremost, I'm a doctor. My responsibility is to help people and make and get them to feel better. Um, I've been from you know square one overall blown away and impressed by the trainers and, and Scott, the owner, um, with their with their health and wellness mindset. You know, to them your safety is always number one above all else. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we do a lot of uh, work on um, safety and movement. Um, <clears throat> again, the extreme of you go into a CrossFit gym and you're just kind of thrown to the lion's den, so to speak. We do what we call an on-ramp, right? So it's a slow process. We go through six one-on-ones where myself and some of the other coaches will work with you. We touch on um, squatting mechanics, deadlifting and hinging mechanics, uh, pressing and pulling mechanics. Um, we do a lot of um, rehabilitative movements and prehabilitative movements to keep the injury from happening to begin with. So it's a lot more than just like, yeah. you know, here you go, have at it, uh, which unfortunately uh, a lot of boot camps uh, have, have yeah, kind yeah. of affected how people look at CrossFit because people think it's just, you know, go in and go, start moving and go, 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 reps, reps, reps for 30 minutes. Well, CrossFit is a long-term program. I've been doing mm -hmm. it around 10 years now, um, and, and I have several individuals that help me coach now and have been doing it for five and six years with me. Um, and, uh, um, you know, in the long run, I want to be doing this literally till the day I die uh, in some form or fashion because it's kept me moving and honestly at 34 now moving better 
than when I was um, 24 and 25 when I first started this. I, you know, quit smoking and, you know, I tried to go to, to a, a regular uh, kind of commercial gym, Globo gyms, we refer to them, with a lot of machines and things um, where, you know, I, I felt like I was getting stronger and everything, but didn't have the capability to move as functionally uh, and as safely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really just one of those things. Don't be afraid to find a CrossFit gym, even if it's not mine. Um, look into another one uh, and, and definitely uh, um, get active. Get active. We're going to leave you with that. Scott, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Absolutely. All right, that's a pivotal part of remembering to live with passion and not pain.